We are getting out of the desert just in time because it is too hot for this mama. We're the Farnsworths. We're a travel nurse family currently living a hybrid life between our home in Phoenix, Arizona and our RV after five years of full-time RV living. Well, we are back at the house, back to our hot tub and pool and the RVs over here. It has been one heck of a journey coming back to the house. We left our story off with, we had gone to Kansas City and we got back and we were staying in the desert and we shared with you that our toilets were broken and that it was the last straw and we still had 10 days to get through. And it was quite, it was, it was quite disastrous. Let me just say that we were so ready to get back to the house. We wouldn't have took anything to get back to the house. We had to be extremely creative about how we were using the restroom and then it got hot. In Phoenix, it goes from spring to summer with like, the flip of a switch. It would be like in the 90s outside, but inside the trailer, it would get almost up to 100 degrees. And a one day that we left the house, Waggle actually showed us that we did get over 100 degrees inside the trailer. And we were just so ready to be out of there. Yes, we could have gone to an RV park probably, but we didn't want to spend the money. We were already settled out there in our boondocking spot and prepared to stay there until we were moving into the house. So we just stuck it out. Uh, but needless to say, we're quite tired of this baby right now. Chloe, what are we doing? We're on a mom and daughter day in the wilderness and we keep finding so many cool flowers. And look at the orange ones. Oh yeah, those are beautiful. And look at these white ones. They're a little puffy, they might be sticky. I would be careful. Can't let Cinder eat these foxtails. Oh, the birds are so pretty sounding. Blue. Oh, blue, we found blue. Listen to the birds. Shh. So it's 90 degrees outside right now. It's 94 degrees inside the trailer, which is too hot for us and too hot for the dog, which means we can't go somewhere indoors because we gotta take the dog with us. So we found a splash pad in surprise. Today and tomorrow, we just have to get through today and tomorrow's hot days and then we're back in the house. You guys surviving okay? No, no. <laughs> um, I would say Arizona is not a great place to RV once it hits the 90s and 100s. Just filming how real life our trailer is currently as we wait for the house to be cleaned so we can move over to the house this morning. We're gonna be ready for nice showers, clean beds, all the things. Really hot in here, let's see what, what, let's see what Waggle says is the temperature right now. Oh, 97 degrees inside. We are getting out of the desert just in time because it is too hot for this mama. And all my babies and my husband, it is too hot. Are right, you excited to get back to the house? Oh god, yes. I am sick and tired of being hot. Yeah. I can't wait for a fan and AC. Yes. Cannot wait. This, can you see this? It's just dripping. All right, let's get out of here. I'm gonna shut the slide. I know it's hot, baby. Oh, it's probably hot on our paws. Everyone around us has moved. It's hot. I don't blame them. The cleaners are still at our house, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way over there anyways and park in the street and hope that they are done here pretty soon. I think they should be. We just, it is the heat of the day. Will this be our last trip in this RV? I don't know. I kind of feel like we need a redemption run after she's all fixed up. We'll see. Not many other RVs out here anymore.
this week's video is going to be pretty short because truthfully we haven't had much else going on except for getting to the house. We have slowly been emptying out the contents of the RV to assimilate it into the house in different spots, brought in our bedding and you know toiletries and all of the food and everything. We went ahead and shut the refrigerator off in there because we are going to take this in for warranty work and last time it was there it was there for six weeks so we're not sure how long they're gonna hold it this time to get all the little ins and outs that we need fixed repaired uh, but we want to be prepared so we have taken a lot of the things out. Oh it's gonna be cold. All right. <laughs> Is it cold? Uh I got that wow. Who wants some hands right now? We got that. Turn it up loud. I know you're wondering how. I got that wow. Here I go, here I go coming. I can't ever stop. I'm a tour de force running. Get me to the top. I don't need an invitation. I'm about to start a celebration. Let me in. Brought a good time for some friends. Turn it up loud. Past 10. Turning up the crowd when I hit them with the pow. Yeah, the party number ends. Cause if you want that, whoa, I can give you more. Come on, yeah, let's go. If you want that, whoa, I can give you more. Come on, yeah, let's go. I got that wow. Who wants some hip right now? We got that. Turn it up loud. I know you're wondering how. I got that wow. Wow. I got that wow. Woo, yippee, yeah, that's on me. Where is the third child? I'll show you. He's in his air conditioned room. Hi! Alright. All likes, no hate. Gets me up, no breaks. Wait, wait. If you want that, whoa. I can give you more. Come on, yeah, let's go. And now you're all up to speed with La Casa de Farnsworth. And hopefully we'll have some more adventures and updates coming soon to share with you guys. This next week, we're going to do a Real Talk Tuesday about healthcare on the road and what that has been like getting all caught up with preventative care things and health shares, insurance, all that information. We're gonna do another follow-up. We have experienced a lot over the last couple of months and we're gonna share a little bit of that with you. So thank you guys for following along. We love you. We're going to enjoy our house for a bit. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there. Can I just say as a little side note, um, I never do this in the trailer and I am loving having a real bathroom inside the house and a curling iron and just it being air conditioned in here so I don't feel too hot curling my hair. And I'm loving how this turned out and I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself, which is really nice.